Ted is telling you, I currently recognize nothing on earth, not a thing, nothing, except for Ted's scriptures and what are in Ted's information to um, be anything, even remotely enough, to be an instruction manual or instructions or to be used to educate you, train you, and help you to be saved and to gain salvation. Other than this, there's nothing on earth Ted recognizes or will agree is um, even remotely good enough at this point in time. Not even what um, were called Holy Bibles or the Holy Bible or Holy Bibles or Bibles that were never holy in slightest and are not holy in slightest and are not even uh, accurate enough. Definitely we're not all inspired of God. We're not all inspired Word of God. We're not infallible. We're not perfect. We're not infallible or all inspired or all good or all inspired Word of God. I don't recognize um, Quran, what Muslims use. I do not recognize Book of Mormon. I do not recognize um, anything um, other than Ted's scriptures and Ted's information to even enough give you enough instructions and enough information to be saved for anything even a range of next life of 700 years maximum. And then you can earn additional um, ranges of next life when you're in, um, if you're saved to original heaven or a heaven, I'm creating additional heavens. Then, um, th this is what you use. Ted's information would include Ted's scriptures. And Ted's information would include Ted's scriptures on how to be saved. Therefore, all of you religious scholars, quote unquote, and you religious leaders, quote unquote, you church leaders, quote unquote, you bro religious broadcast leaders, you on internet religious leaders, you quote unquote religious leaders, you founders of churches, leaders of churches, manage, uh, uh, management of churches, um, you know, them in the, uh, the Roman Catholic Church, them in Vatican, Pope, Pope and Cardinals and Bishops and all of you, um, your minimum getting eternal death at this point in time, all of you. Like, you know, um, the days of Elijah and all these false prophets, Elijah was, or, you know, was outnumbered with all of these false prophets of Baal and uh, prevailed against. And I'm telling you, um, you are not getting saved for a thing, not a thing. You're getting eternal death to put to something, put into something down, to a hell, to something lower. What can be in physical state? I can resurrect you in a brain and body, or not a resurrection, a put down in a brain and body, a degree of a put down in a brain and body for this particular um, <clears throat> area. What's a physical state like Earth? We will Earth has many different um, areas and many different existences and many different states. I've had enough of it. <coughs> <clears throat> I've definitely had enough of it, and I was pounded recently um, for uh, at least uh, well about at least twelve years. <laughs> I was pounded by by many, and I've had enough of it. This is it. You are caught in judgment. I caught you. I caught you red-handed. You know Ted's blood was spilled enough times. Ted's blood was definitely spilled during these 12 years. I caught you red-handed. You did it to God. I caught you. I caught you red-handed. I am furious now. I am upset to angry to furious to live and to feel in some rage. I'm even currently catching heat and hostile to hate and getting threats and getting threatened and with threats of violence and different things and um, hostile to hate. People spitting in Ted's direction. People making comments in Ted's direction. I'm getting really upset. To angry to fierce even. Feeling some rage where, where I happen to be, you know. And I'm telling you, I caught you. 
I caught you in judgment. We are in judgment. We're in the millennial judgment. We are mo mo millennium. I am on earth. God is on earth and we're in millennium. And I have come. This is my coming. Whether you like it or not, whether you agree with it or not, whether you believe it or not, this is a coming of God to earth. And I've caught many of you now and I don't even want you. I don't even need you. Who cares? I don't care about you. Who cares? You'd have to do an enormous amount for Ted now. An enormous amount for Ted to even save you at this point in time moving forward. Okay? Uh, I've had enough. I've definitely had enough of it. And um, if you think Ted is unreasonably showing upset, angry, or furious to live to rage, you weren't Ted during these uh, 12 plus years. You weren't Ted's brain and body during these 12 plus years. You didn't experience what Ted experiences. Ted's uh, upset, anger, and furious to um, live in the rage is enormously understated. Ted is, has enormous self-control. Ted is enormously in control of self. He's been enormously patient and calm and um, in control of self considering the situation and considering how he was treated to worse terribly treated by this time. He has enormous self-control. He has definitely shown enormous self-control. Therefore, you better leave Ted alone. You definitely better leave Ted alone. You better not end up in a, another stint in mental commitment like he was, like happened in the United States twice or even a worse than sane asylum commitment or a worse prison or a prison or a worse jail or a jail or any of that or a insane asylum commitment to worse insane asylum commitment you better not mess with Ted or I'll put you and your entire family in hell for a long time I really don't currently believe in hell for eternity or something down to hell to Hades for all eternity or forever or until end of time I believe in this a specific stint in something down to hell to something lower a specific stint or you know like a uh, not the range of next life, this would be a put down or down, therefore it would be a, to the left, a degree, a degree, a degree of life, a put down, a stint, in a degree of something down to hell to Hades, a physical brain and body and physical conditions, including I can put you down and put you in a jail, I can put you in a prison, I can put you in like worse uh, dungeon conditions in a dungeon. I can put you in like mental commitment or worse mental commitment. I can put you in on the rock pile. I can put you doing hard labor. I can put you doing maximum uh, worse or extreme hard labor and different labor required and different things. I can have you punished. I can have you tortured. I can have you worse tortured to worse tortured to death even if I, if I want. I can put you in dream states. You can be in dream states where you can't even um, commit suicide or even um, it's it, you can't even die. <laughs> you won't even be able to die. You know you can be tortured to worse tortured and you'll never um, have death in this dream state and it'll be you It'll feel like you, like maximum vivid dreams humans have ever had. It will be you, and it will feel like you. I've had enough. This is it. You were caught in judgment, many of you now. Many of you have been caught in judgment. And many of you better be running from these churches and these quote-unquote religious scholars and these quote-unquote prophets and all of these... Um, people with their um, false scriptures and false prophets and false doctrines and false things that uh, those worship, They're those false gods those worship, those false gods of a Godhead, Tron, God, and Trinity, and those false gods. Ted is the only thing you are to worship. You have to be with this coming, currently on this coming. Ted is God and the coming of God to earth. Whether you like it or not, whether you believed it or not, or whether you still believe it or not.